Today is the day, everyone. We're going to be checking out some more FNAF VHS tapes. I absolutely loved the last one that we watched. We watched a whole compilation of FNAF VHS tapes. We're going to be checking those out, by the way. The Baddington ones were next level. So we will be checking out the Baddington ones in the future. There's some other ones that you guys recommended. I wanted to check this one out because one of my friends said that this is the horror that I like. So they said that I should check this one out first. So this is the Spectre FNAF VHS tapes. You can check out all of Spectre's links in the description down below. Please give them a ton of love. I would truly appreciate that. Give this video a ton of love too. Hit that like button. I want to continue the series. I want to check out all of these FNAF VHS tapes. They are freaking entertaining. With that being said, I don't really have anything else to say, so let's just jump into the reaction. Here we are. This is Paranormal Investigation. This is the first video in the series that Spectre created. We're going to be checking out all of the videos today. We got the playlist up. We're just going to work our way down, starting with this one. So let's do it. All right. Got a bit of an unusual call today, but a job is still a job, I guess. I got a call from a kid's restaurant manager saying that they've been experiencing some weird paranormal activity. <laughs> <Let's> weird. <laughs> the place is called Ready Fazbear's Pizza. Look at that 3D uh, render! Normally, that looks so good! That are abandoned or at least old buildings that are at least a century old. But, uh... The strip mall itself looks pretty new, and the manager told me they made that a whole this strip mall. Was opened Reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese. Ago. He mentioned that That's these cool. activities are interrupting businesses, and that they might have to close this location and reopen it elsewhere if I can't figure out what's going on. So let me go ahead and read off a few things they told me. So let's see here. All right. Uh, they've reported that mysterious and disembodied voices can be heard all throughout the restaurant. Company property, particularly the animatronics themselves, will often move around the restaurant during the night, even when the power right. of the building is shut off completely. Sometimes said property Pretty scary. will mysteriously disappear and then reappear a day or so later. And then this is one of the incidents they were telling me about where basically a bunch of kids came running out of the bathroom crying because they saw, quote, someone else staring at them in the mirror and that they were speaking in a language they didn't understand. A few employees Ooh. will often feel a tense presence when working on That's or next terrifying. to the particularly at night. Night shift workers have reported seeing children, usually one at a time, walk around the restaurant after hours when the doors are locked. When they go to assess the situation and figure out how the child accidentally got locked in, they are nowhere to be found, and some have even disappeared in full view of a few employees. When checking the security camera Jeez. footage, these children seem to rage in age and sex, but will consistently look between the ages of 6 and 11. And that's all she wrote. So, based off that information alone, my guess is that this is some sort of poltergeist. Uh, it does sound like there may be more than one in the building, but of course I won't yeah. know that for sure until I can hopefully make contact with one of them. He's just breaking it down like it's that simple. Oh yeah, it's just a few poltergeists, you know, nothing crazy. This paranormal investigator's got some huge balls, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is brave, man. The thing is, if no one's been possessed or has died yet, then it seems these entities may not be violent or demons or anything like that. These very well may just be the spirits of actual children who are maybe just lost and obviously confused about what's going on. Yeah, okay. Again, we'll know for sure until we're <laughs> Wish it was that simple. All right, <laughs> but you'll find out soon need. enough, trust me. Yep, that's everything. All right. I love how this movie shot already. I love the the first person perspective. Um, horror movies that are filmed in that way are amazing to me. I know it's a very unpopular opinion, but I liked the VHS series. I told you guys that before. I love paranormal activity. I love quarantine. Those movies are really good to me. So I'm going to enjoy this already. Just from that. Okay, I was told the door should be unlocked and nobody should be inside the building. So, let's see what's up with this place. Good luck! I would not want to be this guy right now. He better get a fat check for this one. I don't think you guys need a paranormal investigator. I think y'all need a... A priest? Okay, so the power to the building. Maybe the military? All right, that seems to be the case. Okay, so I told them to make sure that the building's power was cut completely, just to make sure, like, if a light turns on or the temperature changes or anything like that, then we could rule out the possibility of it being the power. Oh, also, where's the night make vision? Sure that it's not messing with the EMF reader. But of course, this unfortunately means that I have oh. to work in the dark. Okay. Well, we got a flashlight, no night vision. 
All right, let's get the EMF. This is gonna be out. terrifying. Let's see. Chica's well, right there. Sure, Bonnie's okay. right there. No Freddy. So Where's I was Freddy? Told that all of their animatronic characters should be on stage and shut down. Uh, and um, there seems to be one missing. Yeah, one's gone. I was told there's a bear, a bunny, a chicken, and a fox. And uh, it doesn't seem like the bear one's on stage. Probably Boxy's chilling. Probably just yet though. Maybe one of the employees forgot to take him out of storage or something. Regardless, let's uh. Go ahead and get set up here. Dude, I was looking at them super carefully because I was wondering if they were going to, like, shift or something. All right, let's see what the EMF reader picks up. Why is he walking into the darkness with that, though? Shouldn't you bring your flashlight? I'm starting to get some chills right now, so there must be something close. This guy is not smart. Don't usually like paranormal investigators work as a team. Why is it just one guy? I watch a lot of ghost videos. A few blips here and there, but it's very rare for it to just be one person. Yet. Oh, here we go. Oh God. I think we got something. This right needs here. to be a video game. And when I say that, I, I know Five Nights at Freddy's is a video game, but I mean like in this perspective. Yeah, it seems to be in this area. Let's go ahead and set up the spirit box then. Like, it'd be so cool to be able to play as a paranormal investigator in Five Nights of uh, in the restaurant and, like, have an EMF reader and be able to do, like, all of the things that investigators do. All right, if there's anyone in the room with me right now, please make your presence I don't think known. Chica's still there, dude. I think Chica I moved. no harm. I just need to know if anyone can hear me right now. You can either manipulate something in this room or attempt to speak to this device that I've set up for you. Oh, sh My name is Sean. Can you say my name back to me? Sean. Whoa, shit. Here we go. Okay, just so I can make sure that wasn't a coincidence, can you say my name again? Oh, right, thank you. So now that I know that I'm speaking to someone, he got what he wanted. Can you tell me your name? I'm about to turn this down. This is about to be loud. I'm gonna get jump scared. Susie. Susie. Did I hear you say Susie? Oh no. Okay, hi Susie. She's communicating is there clearly. Is in the room with me right now, or is it just me and you? They're here. They're here? Who's oh, they, man. Susie? What are their names? Do you know their names, Susie? Alright, well if you don't know, that's fine. Just wanted to see if you did know. How old are you, Susie? Do you remember your age? She said something. Eight. 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 Okay. So you must be one of the children that I've heard about. All right, Susie. I guess more to the point. How did you die? Do you remember how you died? I'm not here to hurt you in any way, Susie. I just want to understand what happened to you and why you're here. If you're uncomfortable telling me... Murder? Murder! She Who said murder? murder! Is she gonna say William? Do you remember this person's name? Bunny. Bunny? <laughs> you were oh, murdered by no. a bunny? Yes. Maybe she meant Donnie, like a Donald. Yes. Wait, is yes. that a yes? Yes. Huh? All right then. Uh, how did this bunny kill you? Knife. A knife. Susie, was this a person dressed like a bunny? Yes. Yes. Holy shit. We're here. <laughs> this is where it begins. Hold up. I have to make sure the camera got that. The camera got that. Okay. I, trust me. Shit. So there might have been a murder. Oh, I love the cut right there. That was cool. 
Restaurant owners said that they had operated here for five years straight and the paranormal activity feels so didn't immersed right now until after this July. So this may have been something that happened pretty recently. But I have no idea what that actually means though. Maybe an employee decided he or she had enough, maybe some crack job snuck in here with a bunny suit on, or maybe the spirit's just lying to me. I have no idea. I'll Could have be to lying. show this to the restaurant owners to see if maybe they caught something like that on the security cameras. I love the attention to detail. You can see his truck outside and not only that, but like just how the lighting works in general, like you can barely like make out the stage and then you can still see the sparkles on the star that was on stage. That is really nice. I don't know what well, lighting they use for that, but it's really good. Certainly not unusual in a place like this. Also, what's surprising to me is how direct they are. They're fairly coherent and understandable, and I'm getting them within a pretty short amount of time, which is usually a clear sign that I'm actually speaking to someone. But anyways, let's see if we can make contact again. I want to know what program they use, man, with this lighting. All right, are you still there, Susie? Wait, was there something over there? Oh, sh**! Maybe I'm tripping, Susie, but I think I saw something to the right. Is there something standing over there? There's like uh, two things standing one. over there, I think. Oh, I'm turning this down, bro. I think there's something there over there. Spirits still in the room with me. Please make your presence known. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just seeing things because of the shadows. But at least he's staying close to the entrance. So he has a way to escape if he needs to. Oh my god. That, I think I just heard a chair move. Yeah, I Look, think that right chair there. right there. That's where the sound came from. It's right next to my flashlight too. Did someone just pull this chair out? Why are you asking dumb questions, bro? Are Use you the flashlight, down, please. Right huh? Oh. Do you want the flashlight on? No. 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 Okay, those are brand new batteries. There's no way my flashlight just died. You are a yeah, dumb ass. Still works. Oh my now god. The flashlight's off. We oh talk my to god. Yeah. Off again. What else do you want me to turn off? They don't like flashlights, dude. You don't know this, but no. I do. Noise? You want me to turn the spirit box off? If I turn off the noise, will you talk to me? No. All right, let's go ahead and turn the spirit box off now. The All right, I turned the noise off. Whoever you are, I'm not trying to hurt you. I just want to have a conversation. Oh me. Can you tell me where you are right now? The Bro, I'm shaking right now. What the fuck is that? Hello? Hey, yo. It might be time to... I don't you know can see him shaking now. That, but I for sure just saw a head stick out and move over there. I didn't see it. I don't want to see it. There I don't want to see no it. no one here but me. Yeah, I'm good. Let's not, let's not play paranormal investigator anymore. We should just go home. So I'm gonna have to rewatch the footage to get a better look at whatever the hell that just. Yeah, was. you do your thing. But it turn like turn a the camera off. Of a person standing next to these pinball Wait, machines. That arcade this machine was on. Definitely wasn't as tall as me. So I thought the power's off. Operation of one of the children the night guards keep. Nope. Nope. You can tell this guy's not black. What the fuck? I would have did. Bro, if I'm about to run, you should be running. You are a. F Look at that. Now it's locked. Is the other one locked? I'm not even there. I'm not even physically yeah, there, and I wanted to run right then. Well, I was going to do some stuff in the bathroom to see if I could get the spirit the kid saw to reveal itself, but, uh. Seems oh like my the god. So maybe I could come back tomorrow or something and see if the owners can unlock the door again and maybe take off its hinges so there won't be a door for the spirit to lock, you know? What the hell Anyways, is that going to solve? I to check the footage because I need to make sure the camera even got what I just saw a moment ago. All right, so it looks exactly what I saw, which was pretty much a shadow apparition of someone. It also looked like it could be a small kid, maybe which would make sense if it's one of the children that the night guards were talking about. 
that just leads me to believe, you know, a lot more than I did originally, that maybe more than one spirit's presiding here. The voice that kept saying, off, off, sounded completely different than the first spirit I talked to. So yeah, I it did. Know. Let's, uh, go ahead and turn the spirit box back on, see if we can get anyone else here to talk Let's to Let's not talk to them anymore. I think you tonight. made them kind if of not, upset. I'm probably going to call it quits for tonight. <laughs> Holy nope, shit. nope, nope. Get out of there. Get Hello? out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. That's got to be one of the children. Yeah, it probably yeah. is. You should go. Look at the, that. That's no, dude. Gone. Dude, you don't, you don't get Hold it. Up. The entrance is over that way. About. Not only do you enter through that door right there, but you exit through that door also. So you might want to go. Why would you go deeper inside the restaurant after all of that? Bro. My anxiety is, like, up here. They did such a good job with this video, though. Oh. Ready. Huh, well. Ready. I guess that explains where you were the entire time. Ready, just stay down. Stay I'm, down, uh, Freddy. I'm having a bit of a hard time believing you were left like that, though. I want to stay there, Freddy. I want to session with one of these things, so I guess now's a better time than any to see if these spirits are, in fact, controlling the animatronics themselves. This guy's kind of smart, though. Now. He asks dumb questions, up an for this but he's session. piecing things together pretty nicely. So hopefully I can get some clearly spoken words. All right. Is there anyone in the room with me right now? Anyone who'd like to communicate with me? Yes. Freddy's right there, man. I, of course, mean you know. Freddy's harm. right there. I just want to know if someone else is in here with me. Did I hear something? Something whisper? Did, uh, did someone here move the... I am. You are? Okay, good. What's your name? Freddy. Gabriel. Gabriel. All right. Hi, Gabriel. Can you tell me roughly where you are in the room? Bear. Uh, bear. So you're saying you're in front of the bear? I am the bear. Inside. Inside. Are you the one who moved the bear in here? Yes. Gabriel, why are you possessing the animatronics here? I'm not gonna assume you're trapped. Going to... Trapped? You're you're trapped inside that thing? How Bro, did you get the hairs trapped? on my arms are sticking up? Gabriel, I know this may be uncomfortable for you, but I can't help you unless you answer my questions. How did you get trapped in that thing? Stop asking dumb questions. Okay, well, if you're still troubled by what happened to you, then I guess we can skip those questions. If it means you'll keep talking to me. Okay. Do you remember how you died, Gabriel? Murder. There it is again. Murder. That's exactly what Susie said. Yeah, it's a pattern, bro. Do you remember who murdered you, Gabriel? Him. Him? I am him. What, what do you mean, him, Gabriel? Do you remember his name? Gabriel, whether you're trying to or not, you're causing a lot of problems for the people who own this place. Now, if That's you fine. help me out... must die, 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 die. What the heck was that? I assume you're talking about your killer. I don't know if I'm going to kill no, him. No, he's talking about you, bro. To find him and make him pay for what They're about to kill you. Susie. Now just tell me what you remember of him. Did you catch a glimpse of him, maybe? Do you remember what he looked like? What he was wearing? They don't like adults. Purple. Purple. Okay, purple. Well, at least that's something. I was told by the restaurant owner that the employees here wear purple outfits. Did this person look like he worked here, maybe? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Interesting. Did you ever see his face? Can you describe it to me? That's a good question, actually. No, too dark. No, too it's dark. too dark. Okay, so it must have been too dark to make out the facial features, I guess. All right, so one last thing I want to ask before I go. I was talking to another spirit here named Susie, and she mentioned something about someone in a bunny suit. 
Does that sound familiar to you? Gabriel, are you still there? Get out. Get out? Why? Sounds Why good to me. To leave, Get out. Get out. Sounds good Have to I me. Said something to upset get you. out. Bro, just get out, bro. What the? You're fuck? dumb. Why did this just go out? You're about to. What? You're about to f what die. The fuck? Dude, no, whoa, no, no. Whoa, whoa. You gotta fuck? go, bro. Oh, You're dead. You should have left the door open. <laughs> he ain't moving fast enough for me. Whoa! Did they pull him in? Who is that? Is that one of the kids? It just ends like that. What was that? What, what, what just jump scared me right now? Okay, I needed to pause because I wanted to talk about that video. First of all, that was terrifying. I loved how it was shot. The way that everything was filmed and such, the way you could see the guy trembling, you could hear like, you know, his voice at times start to kind of like shake a bit. I just really like the overall like atmosphere. That was really well put together, man. This is so cool. Okay, so this next one is maintenance report. Let's check it out. I don't like how this one started. It scared me. Bonnie? Was that you? All right. So I've managed to finally roll this thing in here, so I guess let's go ahead and get started now. Oh no. The boss wants me to run through this maintenance report, so hopefully oh, no. we can figure out why this thing has been acting up lately. Uh, we're also opening a new location next year, so what's most likely going to happen is I'm going to have to strip this thing apart so we can use it for spare parts for the newer animatronic models. So let's go ahead and see what I need to do first. Let's see here, movement test. All right then, we will need as many parts as we can salvage from our remaining animatronics. These may include servos, wires, circuit boards, or pieces from the endoskeleton. Insert the floppy disk titled animatronic movement test program into the computer to test each of the animatronics joint movements. Okay, sounds simple enough. Yeah, right, let's get the computer sounds on. Sounds simple. Get this thing hooked up and but is it really? Movement test goes. Let's see. Floppy disks? When's the, when was the last time you seen those things? Ah, here it is. <clears throat> what a blast from the past, man. Is this really going to work? Are we actually going to watch something? Like a little video? Dang, this is how computers used to boot up back in the day too, bro. It used to take forever. Yes. All right, let's see here. Let's go ahead and start with the head movements first. H, A, D. And then we'll just go down the rest of the body. Oh no. Okay, well then. Looks like the neck and jaw joints are functioning normally. So I'm gonna put this camera down with it so I can. Huh. That's strange. No. I guess no. there's some kind of circuit no. malfunction. I'm not sure why. Don't. Okay. Don't turn away from that okay. thing. He even tilted his head. What will happen if... Alright. Okay, so let me just go ahead and make sure everything is connected right. Get it all reset, yeah. and then we'll pick up where we left off. You go do that. Okay, so just checking the circuits now on the back of the head here. They might be shorted. These control the neck and jaw servos, and yeah, they seem to have been shorted. So that means the head won't move unless all of the electronics are completely gutted and replaced. 
Thankfully, oh, I'm not well. repairing this piece of junk, so I guess I'll just leave everything how it is. And there you go. Yeah, your day's your day's done. <clears throat> this All guy right. put in some hard work. They moving. E -A -R -S. Those ears ain't moving. All right. So if the ears aren't moving, that means the shortage affected just about everything connected ahead. So I guess the ears don't work either. All right. Let's try the arms instead. I guess. Why is he filming this? By the way, <laughs> why is he vlogging? Well, that works. Dude, Great. the way that, that works, bro. Like oh, that looks so it. cool. So let's try the other one now. T pose. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Whoa. It's broken, bro. Just, just stop, stop playing with it. Damn. Okay. So the entire shoulder joint just completely snapped. This whole All arm snapped. parts are so grimy and full of rust that these constant failures don't exactly surprise me. So, I mean, I might be able to salvage the forearm and hand, but I don't know how. Looks like I'll only be able to entirely salvage the left arm, though. Well. Which, I guess, is better than nothing. <laughs> Damn, this thing stinks. Okay. So let's go ahead and take off this left arm now before something kills it too, so I can at least salvage something from this thing. Like how he paused to say that it stinks. All right. So as you can see here, I managed to get the left arm taken off. Oh, well, that's a bit great. Of force and of course some know-how, but here it is. And as you can see, the wires are cut, but that's a lot of wires. Have to be rewired to anything else. So hopefully, I'll be able to salvage everything that I haven't tested already. But, seeing how easily that right shoulder joint just snapped, I highly doubt it'll be that easy. Alright, let's move on to this. Stop turning your back on it. I don't trust it. Man, I mean, this thing might as well just collapse right in front of me. I'm surprised they want me to salvage anything from it at all. All right. I like this guy. Move on to the legs. He's sassy. Left leg. Okay, those seem to be working fine. Feet are good. To be At least the legs work. I'll probably sound it to last though when I get finished with everything else. Legs work, but everything else is broken. Standing. Okay, fabric exterior salvage. The new animatronic models will be made from a plastic mold. This means we will need to salvage as many pieces of the fabric layer as possible. The most He's moving. Of which He's moving. He's freaking moving. Head, Bro, face, do you not hear that? Oh, Jesus. How did you not hear that? Right. Why is... Oh. <laughs> right. Oh. Forgot to turn the computer off. Did you? Okay, so, uh, anyways. It sounds like this I'm just guy. Salvaging the exterior nope. layer now. He was not looking at you like that earlier. He was not looking like that. Nope. He's broke, bro. He's broke. Oh my god, this is terrifying. I love these videos though. They're so good. All right, well, he popped his eye out. All right, with that. that Don't stick be your hand anywhere near the okay, mouth though. So as you can see, I've gone ahead and taken the eyes out since they seem to be working just fine. In addition to that, I also went ahead and took off a foot and the right hand since they were pretty much the only remaining exterior pieces that weren't turned up and ruined. So, all of those endo parts, along with their exterior pieces, can be boxed up and shipped off. 
Sounds right, good. So that's about everything good I've work. From this thing so far. Um, the only thing that could also go, but it's giving me a hard time right now, is the head plate here. For some reason, it won't budge, and I have no idea why. I've checked for anything that could still be holding it in place, and so far I've found nothing. However, I do huh? remember the report naming the headpiece specifically, so that means it's one of the main pieces they want. So I don't know. I guess okay. let me keep cracking at it until something gives. Then I'll restart the recording and let you know what I find out. Well, you do that, bro. All right. After a Did bit you get of force it? and a few extra cuts, I managed to tear the oh. face off, as you can see down there. So I figured out that the headpiece still wouldn't budge because Bonnie, this is how you got like that. Head, which is very unusual. So if I were to try and force it off, it'll most likely tear in unpredictable directions and make the entire thing unsalvageable. But they did make it sound like the only one of the oh, actual This is space perfect, the man. So that's down there along with everything I managed to physically scrap from this thing. So we are done with that then. Okay, let's see. Odor report. I love how they're giving us like this okay. origin story of Withered Bonnie. I've recently been receiving complaints about smells and unpleasant odors emitting from the animatronic. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. These odors have been described as rotten. Yep, decomposed like something died inside it. We suspect that perhaps a rodent or animal had accidentally found its way into the animatronic and became trapped within its chest. Press down both of the shoulders to remove the torso of the animatronic. Oh, oh, what the? Damn it, not again. Huh. I guess the power went out. Yeah, what? I might have tripped a breaker or something with all that computer commotion. <sighs> all right. Let's go turn the power back on and open the Oh, no. You're gonna leave that thing in here? What the? Oh, wait, you're not gonna hey! leave. Hey! Let me out, guys! This isn't funny! Uh, I guess let me finish up real quick in the dark. You're dead. Where'd, you're where'd dead. it go? You're dead. I don't wanna oh, know where really? it is. Really? Right now? Come on, come on! Oh! oh, oh where oh, the oh, heck did it go? Why is it? Oh, God. What the fuck? No. What the fuck? What? What the heck? Jesus Christ, what was that? Yo, the sounds it was making? <laughs> okay! Alright, these jump scares, man. Where the heck did Body go? Body just disappeared for a good, like, five minutes there. You saw that. Like, where did Body go? The anticipation, because you know that it was going to move eventually, right? Like, it was, like, building it up. And the way that they built it up just was, like, I'm just sitting here shaking. The anticipation was amazing. Oh, my gosh. Alright, let's keep going. This is the salvage. Oh. <laughs> These have uh, all made me jump out of my seat so far. Recording. Okay. So, the boss wanted me to come in a bit later than usual to do some after hour salvaging on the older animatronics. Uh, since we're over we the salvaging sometime of uh, June of next year, essentially we're going to see if we can reuse as many parts as we can that'll uh, go on to be used for the newer models. Uh, I'm fairly new to all this, to be honest, so I'm not quite exactly sure what to expect going into this room here. But uh, Bob told me when he went to go through the hands and the mouth that it's really nothing more than just a few audio clips played from a tape recorder. Mm. So, uh, hoping I'm uh, good luck. A, I hope I'll get a, a similar experience coming into this, but I'm not entirely sure of that. Uh, so Boss said to record me doing it as well to uh, for archive purposes and also to have some proof that I actually did it. Um, Is so that why the last guy did that? Too? Is that why he was filming? Because the boss said so? Maybe I didn't catch that in the beginning of that last video. Oh, of course it's got to be nice and dark, right? Oh my god, is this all- this- this one just gonna pop off scary? Like from the jump? We just started the video! Whoa! Chica! What the actual f- What were you doing in here like this? set up. Is this the interviews? Fuck, that's creepy. Right. I guess he wasn't wrong. Alright. Let's get 
this shit what is this sheet? Let's see. Recorder. What is that? Maintenance salvage okay. checklist. Do you have to do this in any of the games? I feel like one of the games would have like okay, this as like a mechanic or something. All we gotta do is play it, so Let's see what we got. <clears throat> Congratulations you just on completing your first day. Sir. However, your job isn't over just yet. Can't say this isn't realistic, There's right? Aspect to your end of day routine. You must complete the maintenance checklist. During this testing phase, check on the animatronic frequently. If you feel that it is becoming unstable, use the taser provided to you. Oh. You can use it three times taser? without damaging the hardware. Every use over three, however, will decrease the item's salvage value. Interesting. Begin audio prompt in three, right, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! All right. Uh, looks like the left arm worked up a little bit. Yeah, it looks like the left arm works. Okay. Oh, that noise is terrifying! Document results. All right, so the left arm went up about 90 degrees, so I guess I'll mark that as a yes. Okay. Are so good. Begin audio prompt in three. I wish you could do two, this in the games, one. bro. This would be so cool. Oh. oh. All right, so right arm just. Right arm's good. Right arm. Interesting. Okay. Everything looks like a scarecrow now. But... Nice T pose. Alright, so same thing with the right arm, so that's another yes. Okay. Begin audio prompt in three, <laughs> two, one. Easier than I thought. That sounds broken. Yeah, this one's creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. this document results okay looks like nothing moved that time no I guess that's a no then it's a bat no all right why was the sound Begin like that audio prompt oh. in three two um uh, okay well i i guess that that counts uh i guess, I guess that counts so but, uh you know what fuck it all right. he's gonna change his answer i'm sure for now all right, so the eyes move and then. Oh my god! What the fuck? Okay. Uh, I'm so immersed, man. I right, felt like that thing was coming for me in real life. Um, I don't, I don't really know. Um, whatever. Right. One. Hips moved on that one. Wait, now Chica's looking directly at him. Document results. Okay, I think we get nothing, it. Nothing, nothing, son of a bitch, don't you... Nothing on that one. Are you sure nothing on that one? Because this thing is moving. In three, two, one. Bro, it's getting more and more intense. Each test. The eyeballs are definitely moving. Document results. Or maybe that's just a VHS again. effect. I don't know. Another no. Keep my damn eye on this fucking thing. Ah, fuck. All right. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. Oh my god. 
Turn it off! Turn it off! Document results. Okay, another no. That's a lot of no's. This can't be good. Okay, last one. Last one. Begin audio prompt in three, two, one. <gasps> oh, oh, hold on a second. What the fuck? Oh, f no! Whoa, whoa, what, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god! Dude, get out of there! What the, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? Wait, what did it say? We go back? So bad, I can't breathe. Can't breathe? What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Whoa. What the fuck was that? Oh, fuck this. Fuck this job. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, why the heck do you have this job, bro? Okay, okay we can do this. Come on. If you're getting paid, oh, I know that sound all too well. Oh, I know no. that sound all too well. Oh, no. No, 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 Right before his eye, no, it just no, completely no. disappeared. Oh no. I am gonna have a heart attack by the end of this freaking video, bro. I swear, my I need to start wearing a heart monitor as I'm playing and watching these freaking videos, bro. Like when I play the game, I should be wearing one, but like when I watch these videos, I should wear one too. Oh my god. Oh, okay, we're moving on to the next one. Police archive. Jeez. I think that was the scariest one so far. Alright, that's them. Alright, police archive. Whew. Okay, so the police are involved now. Agent Edwards of the FBI, and this is my partner, Agent Wallace. Glad to meet you too. I'm Detective William Bradley. I'm in charge of this investigation, and this is the police sergeant, David Miller. Please take a seat. All right, so uh, go ahead and give us the rundown on this case. Everything you guys know, and everything you guys are suspicious of. If I'm not mistaken, this is a case of a serial murder. Is that correct? Yes, sir. As well as theft and bribery, among others. Now, this relates back to a string of disappearances that started popping up about a year ago, all relating back to a kid's entertainment company called Fast Bear Entertainment. Oh, we're going all the way down to the origin of it. John Roberts, whose family told us was a paranormal investigator. On the night of August 19th, 1985, around I remember Sean. he was hired to look into the company's supernatural occurrences. However, his family reported that same morning that he hadn't come home and has been missing ever since. Now, originally we suspected that he had been kidnapped, but uh, witnesses who lived close to the restaurant strip mall lead us to believe a different story. They reported hearing a lot of gunshots, some recognized it as a shotgun blast, that came from the parking lot during the night. When we arrived on scene gunshots? after a service call about it that evening, Remember that happening. we got a glass from a broken window pane that landed on the outside of the building. We did manage to find a small blood sample on the ground as well as fingerprints off the victim's equipment, confirming that this was him and he had indeed been murdered. However, we found nothing giving us any idea of who the actual killer was. So Whoa. we asked the company if they might have caught the event on camera. Their response was that Mr. Roberts had requested that the building's power be shut off and that the building's entrance doors be unlocked for him to enter. Dang it! So, with the prospect of literally anybody being able to enter the building at any time, nobody could exactly prove that the company itself was involved, so... We eventually just passed this case off as some crack job who stumbled on the unlocked door, figured he'd try to score himself a payday by robbing the place. Saw Mr. Roberts approaching the building and then shot him through the window to ensure no witnesses. Too Afterwards, simple. spent the rest of the time before we got there doing the best to clean up after himself. And then another case came up about a few months after that, on March 15th, 1986. 1986. The family of a mechanic for Afton Robotics, their LLC sister company, filed a report about their missing son, Matthew Walker. Again, we arrived at the restaurant and found no tangible evidence of a crime that was committed, so the second time we asked if the company had any idea about this event, or again, had maybe caught it on camera. Nope, again, of course they no, don't. And when they look back at the camera footage, it cuts off about the time that it could have happened, so they inferred that maybe that their building power had randomly shut off. I love how we get to actually yeah, see no, the guys that we were, we were hearing. Disappearances, but I think we both know lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. So we kept a closer eye on him this time. 
Finally, the smoking gun case that told us something fishy was going on was uh, the disappearance of Jacob Carter, who was a new hire for the company and reported missing after he didn't come back for his first night shift on October 29th, 1986. Jeez. Again, no evidence of a crime could be found anywhere, but this time when we asked the company for the footage, they agreed, but discovered it had, quote, mysteriously gone missing as soon as they went to look for it. What the heck, dude? I'll start to sense a pattern here. Three missing people are gone without a trace, and a suspiciously uncooperative company are seemingly covering up these incidents. Company's doing nothing. The iceberg. Do also bear in mind that all of this is on top of four extra missing kids cases relating to the company as well. I uh, unfortunately don't it's have not a coincidence. on hand with me right now since they were just requested by our CSIs a few minutes before this, but what I do still have is everything that happened afterwards, which is pretty much just shows that all these cases resulted in successful lawsuits by their respective families costing the company millions in reparations and Sheesh. bringing them closer to bankruptcy. I see. What about this guy you called last night? Lost a How lot of money. How all this? <clears throat> well, as of now, he's confessed to being the one responsible for everything we just mentioned. In front of you is everything we could find on him in our archives. So he confessed that he murdered the four kids, Gabriel Martin, Jeremy and Susie Collins, and finally Fritz Robinson, as well as the additional- Not the milk carton. About, claiming that they were too close to discovering the truth. Which is? Well, that's the other thing. He's been real picky about which questions he answers. We asked where the bodies were, he said nothing. We asked how long he's been doing this, he said nothing. <laughs> and he's even avoided questions just relating to his side of the story. Not sure why he wants to still keep secrets from us now even after letting the cat out of the bag. Right, he's the one also, that- his responses don't seem very genuine. Turned himself they in. Seem genuine. Are you sure he's not just trying to throw you guys off? Agent Edwards, I've served with this police department sergeant for 25 years. I know when people are lying to my face. Well, if there's a confession, then this sounds like an open and shut case to me. So what are you guys trying to say right now? Well, we just think the situation is a bit too good to be true. A guy gets away with seven murders and now all of a sudden decides to stop hiding his tracks. It was too easy to catch him. Good point. I'll say, son of a bitch pretty much cuffed himself. Didn't try to fight, resist, escape, nothing. So what? Maybe he felt guilty and turned himself in. Thought I could pull a fast one on us last night, and we got him. All I'm saying is that there could be more to this case than was immediately apparent. There could be parts of this that we don't know or aren't seeing quite yet. They need to go check well, it out. Unfortunately, the court doesn't care about could be's. They're only concerned about what we can prove. Now, is there anything else you haven't shown us yet that proves these claims more broadly? What a there police officer and it's way of thinking. We brought you guys in. One of our officers managed to record the whole ordeal that happened last night. However. There are definitely parts of this tape that we cannot show to the public. At least not yet. All right, Dad. Show us what you got. Oh, are we going to see it? Oh, we're going to see it. Oh, it's time, baby. Is that camera rolling? Let's see. Yep, it says recording. All right, good. Should be coming up on them fairly soon. Which way are they heading? Should be the same direction we're going, just not exactly sure how far up they are. Keep an eye on both sides, though. Oh shit, is that them? Might be. It looks like it fits the bill. Why the hell are they driving so slow? Right. Hmm, I don't know. They're probably trying to decide what to do. Let's go ahead and photo it now before they try something. Three Echo 10 to dispatch, over. Oh, these are police officers? Okay, 10, go ahead. Yeah, we got a possible jackpot in that Bolo 4982 white GMC box truck currently heading northbound on 99. Roger, ready for the oh, They are in the middle of nowhere. The is going to be Juliet Golf Kilo 245. That's Juliet Golf Kilo 245. And it's a Wisconsin plate over. Okay, 10, that's a positive ID. Vehicles reported stolen from a rental service a few days ago and is now involved with an ongoing investigation. Multiple units reported stolen. seeing a brand logo on the side of the vehicle, though. So the vehicle may be bought by the company, and this report may be a mistake. We pretty much just need to figure out if they actually own the vehicle or not. 10 for dispatch. Thanks for the assist. All right, let's pull them over. We're going to pull them over. Yep, there it is. Pull them over. Well, they pulled okay. over quick. I'm going to walk over to the driver's side and tell what's going on and see if we can get the squared away. It's the time to be ready to back me up, all right? 
Yes, sir. All right. Oh, this isn't going to go so good, is it? <laughs> Look at that officer. Good luck, man. How are you guys doing this evening? All right, my name is Officer Dale. May I see the keys to the truck, please? Just want to make sure you don't take off and run on me now. Thank you very All much. Right. All right. Do you know they gave the keys. Now? Well, there's a bolo, or be on the lookout for this particular model of vehicle. Now, I ran your plate just now, and my dispatcher told me that this vehicle was reported stolen by a rental service. Uh-huh. Yeah. What's their excuse? I want to hear it. Well, I mean, this looks to be y'all's vehicle, so, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to assume anything, right? You know how companies like to make shit up all the time so they can rip people off, you know? Mm-hmm. Alright, well, let's see if we can get this figured out. You have a license registration on you? Perfect. I assume this is a commercial vehicle. Okay, let's see, you got your license for that. Alright, let me go ahead and rerun the stuff and see if we can get this issue squared away. Alright? Alright, sit tight for me. Oh man, I'm getting anxiety! So, who is it? I want to know their name. You might follow the same for me. I'm going to take care of the registration out here so I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, sure thing. Three Echo 10 to dispatch. Three Echo 10, what you got? Got a commercial license I need you to check out for me. Ready for the details? License number is going to be 126-266-79. That's 126-266-79. First name Oscar, last name Master. M A S T E R. Oscar Master. He's a 34 year old white male with short brownish black hair. Over. Uh, I'm not coming up with anything. Can I get a 10 on the number? 126 266 79. I got no one listed under that name. Is it expired? Negative dispatch. License what? says it will expire in 92. Roger. It might be a false ID. Description sounds familiar, so they might be the guys the other unit saw. Fake IDs? Uh-oh. Well, they seem to be acting pretty calm pulling something like this, but... I'll tell my partner and we'll bring him in. Thanks for the help. Ten four. Hey, Daryl! Yeah, what's up? This is a fake ID. <laughs> Shit, really? Just the way he said that. This is a fake ID. They came up with nothing both times. Well, is it expired? No. Look, it says it expires in '92. Damn. Okay then. All right, I'm gonna get the driver out in cuffs. Go ahead and walk around back to make sure his friend doesn't take off running. Okay, we'll do. Oh crap. Things are about to get real. Oh, wait, what? Oh, Show me your hands. No. Now! Drop what's in your hands and step, step out, out of the truck. truck. Dude, just shoot, bro. Shoot. They no, killed your friend. I said. Oh! Foxy? Chica and Bonnie are in there, too? What now? Just stick to the plan. Come on. What the heck happened? Foxy's a real life pirate, bro. Stealing the booty. <coughs> well, this guy's not dead. He actually survived. The echo tend to dispatch. <coughs> dispatch, can you read me? 
Dude, just drive away, bro. Can anyone hear me right now? Why are you staying here? Get in the car and drive oh, off. Great. Daryl! Daryl, you still with me, buddy? Watch them start moving. Freaking animatronics are gonna start moving. This is 3 Echo 10. I got an officer down on 999 North. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. Over. I can't hear you. Does anyone read me? Or oh, you should have drove away. Fuck. There you go. There you go. Where are you going? Where are you going? It's the wrong side. God damn it, Daryl. The one time we need a spare. Hug. All right. Think. Think. Um. I'm not that far from the city, so someone must have heard all this. I mean, Wait. you you seem pretty far from away Where from the, the city. Look like you're in the middle of nowhere. Just take off from the truck. Oh, well, they're up to something. They have to be. Is this thing still rolling? Oh shit! It is. Okay. That's good. That's good for you. Let's see Watch, he's gonna pan the. Oh, All he's right. gonna put the camera up, like and they're gonna off move. Right in this direction. So let's see if I can catch up to them. You're gonna chase those guys. Me. No one's getting away from me that easily. Not after what they did tonight. What in the Sega Dreamcast AI is going on here, bro? This guy literally said, <laughs> "Damn, nobody's getting away from me what that easily." This place? <laughs> Looks abandoned, or at least pretty run down. It's got to be a mall or something. This does look like a Sega Dreamcast video game, though. <laughs> How are they doing in a place like this? This must be where they broke in. Or at least where someone broke in. Jesus, this place definitely looks bigger on the inside. I mean, it looks fairly intact, but my God, did they let this place go? I've always wanted to explore abandoned buildings. I feel like it would be kind of fun and do some ghost hunting. These are the old businesses they closed down. I was about to say, it looks like a mall, kind of. Architecture looks super retro, though. This place had to be built in like the late 60s to early 70s at least. <laughs> I love the sound effect where it seems like the mic is scratching up against this uh, chest no or way. uniform. How is there still power in this place? I don't know, but I don't think well, it's a good idea to go down there. Power, though. Hopefully the phones here still work. I got to make sure backup knows I'm here. Otherwise, they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action is. Where the action is. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a map right there. Let's see if I can find the office buildings. Okay. There's a lot of action office, going on, let me tell you. Office, office. Uh, ah, here, okay. Second floor on the east side. All right, let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. What in this? <gasps> Wait. Don't go up there. How are you going to hear a noise like that? How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take them at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. What if they check here first? We you quit your fucking bitching and hand me the pliers? Ah, I see. They're scrappers. I you can't hear his heavy feet. Though. What are you doing? Don't go up to them. 
Don't be stupid. Okay, I got it. Open the back. Just hang back, bro. I heard that. Who oh my there? god. Come on, Sam Fisher. Why would you do that? Hey! Who's that? Oh fuck it. MCPD! Hands up! Now! How the fuck? This guy is so stupid, bro. What in the Resident Evil are these graphics? It's just him. Come on, let's go. Now, hurry up. <laughs> this is so freaking cool, bro. You guys think this is a fucking game? Come on with your hands up. Now! Oh, that's Foxy, bro. You're dead. What the hell? You're dead. Foxy's gonna get you. Holy shit! Bro, you better go! No, I don't think bullets work on that thing! Oh! Foxy ain't got no stamina. He's getting outrun by this police officer? Wow, he actually ran away from him straight up. Foxy needs to train, bro. Oh! This guy ain't that fast. He should have got got by now. Wait, what? Was there a door that he just closed? I don't think that's a good idea. He knows you're in there. Oh no. It's like right on top of him. Oh wow, that is scary. So loud, shut up. He just walked away. God, I hate that thing. I now, what are you gonna do? Now, are you done playing Leon Kennedy? Oh, come on. Are you gonna leave now? Go. Got a phone? God damn it, it's locked. Let's break the window. Uh, oh, fuck it. Uh. Yeah. There, he got in. Yes, still works. All right, let's send in the cavalry. This guy said, let's send in the cavalry. Come on, come on, pick up. Do you even know where you are right now? Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I-99 North. I got two armed and dangerous suspects with machine guns. Why are you yelling? All black and ski masks. Physical description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. This sound like a fucking prank call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. I think I heard something. Ah, shit. Just give me some backup, damn it. Oh. My. God. This guy's gonna get caught. What? 
He's still alive! He got to one of the phones! Ah, fucking shit! All right, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Where's your robot? I don't know. Try to call it back. You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. We can't let the cops find it. It's gotta come with us. <sighs> don't make me regret this. Come on, we're on the clock. What was that noise? That like high pitched noise. Luckily, this guy somehow he didn't get caught. I don't know how the heck he got away with that, but oh, this this cop has plot armor, man. For it, what? Oh, he's just carrying something. He's got so much plot armor, it's not even funny. Shit, Jesus! Oh, crap! Fuck. Wait, is that still Foxy or is that a different one? There he is. Oh shit! Yeah, that is Foxy. Ah! Fuck! Oh, Come he got hit. Back, you coward. Let's see you run. Why did Foxy walk right past him though? Yo. Why is he limping? The taser! Oh! Good work. But well, where's the other guys at? Taser was smart. Didn't think that would actually work. Oh, they really sent in the cavalry. They got the helicopter and everything. About fucking time. Hey, he got his wish. Bro, this police officer is the main character. That's all you need to know. <laughs> He's literally the main character. Is Foxy gonna appear out of nowhere or one of the other animatronics? Freeze! Hands up! Blue! Blue! Wait, are the Those cops gonna two. kill him? I'm with you guys! His own police officers? <laughs> Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD! Wait, Clyde? Y yeah! No. Yeah, Sarge, it's me. He's good. Holy shit. Stand down. He's with us. I thought we had lost you. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both mine and Daryl's radios are busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. I see. Where's Daryl, then? Wasted, Sarge. Got shot up pretty bad. I think he's dead. <sighs> Damn it. All right. Where is he? Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen truck on 99, not too far from here. Pretty sure my lights are still on, so it'll be hard to miss. Go down, secure the part of the highway, and get medical down there as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Alpha Squad, on me. You hurt? <laughs> I got Alpha my head Squad, back on me. Shot in my thigh. Other than that, though, I'll live. Can you fight? I'll try. All right, good. Bye. We need all the help we can get before they escape. Bro, he's man fighting. Like? Hard to tell. Both of them were in ski masks in all black. It seemed like Daryl got a good look at them with their masks off. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol, and I think the other guy's got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't catch the other guy's name. When's the last time you saw him? Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. All right. Bravo, Charlie, sweep this building. Let's smoke these guys out. The rest of you are on me. Let's move! Oh my god, just when you thought he was gonna get out of here, he's going back in! Oh my god! He's literally the main character! Oh, 
At least the big guns are here. Oh, you got eyes on. Let me see your hands. Drop the gun. Drop the gun and put your hands up. Drop the gun and show us your hands. Oh. We're pinned down. The assistant's on the second floor. How are you pinned down? There's one guy. What the heck was that? He's down. Three neutralized. All units, suspect down. Repeat, suspect eliminated. Whoever took the shot. Are we just gonna hit, ignore that? Clean kill. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. We're not done here yet. Any idea where his friend might be? I think that answers your question. Fallen! On me! Where is this guy? Hey! Open the door! Police department, come out with your hands up! I can't have the door stuck! I can't open it! Hands up now! Take the wall on your fucking knees. How do you name? get in this room? Identify yourself. Henry. Henry Emily. What? Oh, they can't just end it like that. What? There's no more. That's it. That was literally the last video. Okay, that tape was so awesome. That last one with the police, like it was a bit, it was a bit slow at parts, but it was nice to actually see the main character survive the entire time. Whereas the other, the other tapes, you saw all the other people dying, right? I want to say the best part about that is the twist at the end with the Henry. When they said Henry, I was like, what? My mind was blown. I liked that one a lot. I definitely liked that. That cop needed to be promoted, bro. <laughs> I mean, he lived through so much. He got shot in the thigh he got pounced on by foxy he chased these guys into the woods into an abandoned building like this guy definitely needs to get moved up he needs to be making some big bucks kudos to him for real but all of those tapes were amazing specter definitely knows how to cook them up i think the atmosphere of all of those tapes and just how they were laid out just in general was just fantastic and the jump scares were perfectly placed like they didn't feel very cheap like it didn't have to keep baiting you right like you just got that one good jump scare like towards the end of each tape and it was nice anyways with that being said i loved these vhs tapes shouts out to Spectre. All their links will be in the description. Hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it. Comment down below any thoughts. Also, any recommendations that you might have for future reactions. I would love to see it all. And also hit that subscribe button because I would love to have you guys here. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have an amazing day. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.